Hi, I'm Finn Kelly from Wealth Enhancers, or WE, as we like to call it. Today, I'm going to be teaching you magic. I'm going to teach you how to create the life that you really, really desire. Have you ever looked at someone else's life and just thought, how lucky are they? How do they just keep having so much luck and just these magical things just keep achieving for them? I know you have. I definitely have. It's okay. It's a natural human condition. We love to compare. What happens though, if they weren't actually lucky? What if they had a process or a formula which enabled them to succeed in life that you couldn't, that enabled them to be happy? I think I've discovered that formula. Actually, I know I've discovered that formula. Over my life, I've been called a man master manifester. A lot of the times they were just like, you're so good at manifesting things. When you put your mind to it, you can achieve it. Now, for a while, I actually resisted this name because I felt like, hang on, I don't just manifest things. I do the work and I make things happen. But when I actually looked over my lifetime, there were certain times where things just worked a lot easier than other times, where things just magically happened. And I realized that I had been doing a process all along without realizing it. And it's what I call the master manifesto process. I believe this is the greatest gift I'm ever going to give to anyone in this lifetime. And I really am excited to see what comes from uh, your knowledge of this and what you put in place for your life. So let's get into the master manifesto process. So what is a manifesto? A manifesto is a person who brings something into existence a being who manifests or a creator, a manifester, a maker. I'll let you in on a little secret. All of you, every single one of you is a creator, a manifester, a maker. All of you are, you just don't know how to actually use the skill sets that we have. I'm going to start with a bit of brain side of the side of things, some scientific knowledge, because I know sometimes when we get into this spiritual woo woo, it's hard for some people, they resist. So, our mind, our brain is composed of three brains. Traditionally, when we think of the brain, we have the conscious brain and the subconscious mind. Uh, the, unfortunately, only 5% of our day is spent in conscious activities. 95% is subconscious. So we may think that we're aware, but a lot of time we aren't. And what we need to be looking at is, are our subconscious programs good or not so good for us. Potentially your subconscious programs are not serving you well. So we need to use that 5% of our conscious thought to change the underlying sub programs to work in your favor. There's three types of brains. There's the neocortex, which is our modern day brain, our thinking brain. It's where we spend most of our time because we, we love to think now, we're addicted to thinking. Thinking doesn't serve us that well though, if they're not good thoughts. We then have the limbic system, which is the feeling brain. It's when we have an experience, a chemical gets released, and we now associate that experience with this feeling. Once we do that a few times, it then goes into our cerebral, cerebral and brain. Yep, I can't say it very well, uh, which is about our being. It's our ha habitual brain. It's that dark subconscious brain. Now, traditionally, we thought that we had to go through the thinking, the feeling, the being in a physical way. We used to think that we had to actually experience something in a physical way in order to train our being mind. This isn't true. And it's really interesting where I discovered this was not the place you'd be thinking that we'd be doing spiritual woo woo work. It was when I was training to be a pilot in the Australian Defence Force in the military. Where did we spend most of our time training to be a pilot? It wasn't up in the air in the actual plane. It wasn't even in the simulator where we spent most of our time was sitting on the, on our chair with a potentially a broomstick between our hands. And we went through a process where we were just thinking about what we were doing when we're flying. So we'd be sitting here, there and just thinking, all right, we're taking off. We've got a, um, an engine's gone down. What do we do? And we're just going through the process, visualizing what's actually achieving. Now, when we're visualizing, our body can't tell the difference between actually experiencing something in real life or in a visual state. So the limbic system kicked up and it started releasing chemicals and we started getting these feelings and we started getting this association of what it was like to be flying a plane. And we did this multiple times and then it went into our cerebellum and it just became a habit. 
So when we actually got up into the plane, we could do exactly what we'd been thinking without ever having experience in the plane. So that's where I learned the power of visualization that we don't need to actually experience something in the real world. We can do it in our head and it has the exact same experience. So I'm going to go through a manifestation process which makes it really easy for you. I've tested this on my team and they've seen great results. I've tested this on a lot of my friends and they've changed their life because of this. So to get ready, it's really important we get into a, a nice place, calm, into our bodies, out of our mind. So three great tools to do that are breath work, grounding or meditation. So breath work is about activating our breathing. Whenever you, if you don't believe in magic, just take a breath. That is magic. The, a few breaths can change our whole cellular makeup in our body. So a few good deep breaths, very aware, um, can just get us back into our body. Grounding, uh, getting connected to the earth, feeling connected, not being out of body. And meditation uh, just gets into a, a place where we're going from a high sort of beta waves mindset out down into alpha waves. Dr. Dia Dispenza talks about that a lot. So if you want to look at his work. So we've got ready, we've got into a great state. Our process is only 10 minutes if you want to do it quick, 45 minutes if you want to activate it with a lot of breath work and meditation. But let's just talk through the 10 minute process. So we've done some breathing and some grounding. Really great breathing is called the four, seven, eight method. So four seconds, just breathing in company through your nose, hold for seven seconds, and then breathe out for eight seconds, making a whoosh sound. So do that four to five times and your whole cellular makeup has changed. This breathing technique will change your life. If you just take this one thing, if you're ever feeling anxiety, do this breathing technique. If you need to, can't get to sleep, do this breathing technique. If you need to make a decision, do this breathing technique first. So a bit of pre-work there. Then we need to step one is to manifest. What is it that you want to manifest in your life? Could it be you want to manifest a new, a loving partner? Is it you want to manifest your dream house? You want to manifest a new role. Whatever it is, just make a decision and to what do you want to manifest. Second is imagery. What represents this manifestation? If you just had to have a couple of pictures on your wall like a vision board, what would it represent? Vision boards are a great way to bring out this imagery so then you always have it in your head. You can go, all right, my dream house looks like this or my dream role has these type of characteristics and create a vision board so you can always bring that imagery really simply. The third is to feel. So you need to work out what are the positive emotions that will arise when this occurs. Assume that this event has already occurred. You need to get into the forward state. Uh, what are the positive emotions that will arise? Feel them. It could be joy. It could be abundance. Uh, it could be freedom. It could be happiness. Whatever it is. The fourth step, entitlement. You need to believe that you deserve this. You can't trick your body. If you don't believe that it's possible or believe that you deserve it, it won't actually happen. So you need to set that entitlement. I deserve for this to happen. This is, this is the right course for me. Number five is the fun bit. You need to move with that vision, interact with it. What it what's happening when you get that dream job? Imagine it's already happened. You're walking in, you're so excited you're, that there's big purpose and values on the wall which resonate with you. You're, everyone's got smiley faces. People are saying good morning and and talking about your role, whatever it is, you need to interact with it like it's already happened because it has already happened. Go through that experience. The more you can use your five senses, the better it'll bring out. So what do you smell? What do you feel? What are you seeing? What are you hearing? What are you touching? Whatever it is, just really bring it alive and build on it every day when you do this. Number six, so important. Our body needs to get into an elevated state. We need to raise the emotion. We, the two most powerful emotions there are are love and gratitude. You need to go, all right, I'm so grateful that this has occurred. I am just really in a loving state. You need to love yourself first and, and believe that you deserve this because when you love yourself first, you're then in a place when you can be in a great state of gratitude. And when you're in a state of gratitude, you can receive everything what's out there. So really elevate the emotion. And then finally, you need to be thinking about how would this person who has achieved this uh, intention, this, this vision, would, how would they act in their normal day? You can't get up 
as the same person as that you sat down. You need to act like it ha already happened because it has happened. So think about what would that person be doing? How would they be interacting with their general day? And then you need to get up and act like that person because you are that person. You've attracted your future. And finally, you just need to be intentional and live in the now. You can't think about the future. You can't be thinking that I'm in a place of lacking. You need to trust that you've done your process and the universe will provide in a way that's right for you. You can't be setting deadlines and dates and really find out things. Let the universe show the way that's right for you. And the best way to do that is to live in the now and act like it's already happened because it has, you just got to get there. And when you lack that way, magic will just come. So what I recommend is doing this first thing in the morning and, and last thing at night. Make these the thoughts you start your day with and the thoughts that you put into your subconscious mind at night time. It's only 10 minutes. It's going to create a dream life. Do this for 30 days and tell me what you've manifested because you're going to change your life and I'm so excited to be part of that. Be intentional and live in the now.